Hi guys, today we will discuss about DXF. First, we have to know what is the DXF. It has to create by the mechanical designers. This comes under the mechanical input from the client. Okay, first we have to get the DXF formats from the mechanical person. Uh, it will be coming as a mechanical input from the client or from the hardware team. Just have a look on it. First, we have to create the new board file. So, I'll go the file new it will save changes no so i'll first have to click here and we have to browse our folder where we want to save so here only right here the port name uh, dx example okay i'll open We'll click here before the importing you can set the parameters like we have to go the center design parameters first change the units go to the millimeter yes okay now with keep here five times nine one two three four five one two three four five and lower y minus four times nine So minus four times nine minus four times nine. Now after set after this setting we have to apply. So you have applied. Now go to again display and uh, display printed holes and non printed holes. We have to keep here. Now we have to set our grids first and set here board outline as a one point one mm point one. Non H 0.1 option 00, 0 all H spacing 0 0.1 0 0.1 so click OK right now our display and it has been selected already so we apply OK now we have to bring our origin at the center so go to the setup change drawing origin click here see uh, green dot appeared here now you have to import your uh, DXF. See here is the PCB outline DXF. It has provided by the our mechanical department or mechanical. So it has to come as mechanical input from the client. To import this, please follow these uh, steps. File, import, and then DXF will be there. Yes. Hit on DXF. Choose our DXF file. Yes. See this is our folder actually here PCB outline. Now choose here MM aggressively for it will come default. Click here incremental editions. Uh, just click on the um, edit view layers and first we have to select here all. Now it will be selected all. So we know for board outline that we have to uh, keep our active class as a board geometry and uh, subclass as the board outline. So outline here subclass you have to select as outline now after this selecting these classes and subclass just map it click on map after this mapping here the class and subclass will be appear like what we have mapped right now just click on ok uh, all parameters we have set it up then after finishing these steps just click on import so it is processing see completed with warning and errors so you just close it down no need to work on it just close it now after closing this just click on your origin just zoom fit this is our board line actually so one more example i wanted to show so again i will create uh, one more board file file new yes i want to save now i will open this dxf so this is my second example so i have uh, renamed my board file like uh, board outline import example 2 correct so i'll open it after this opening see our uh, origin will uh, be appear at the lower left corner in the set of the board parameters so here uh, we'll first we have to change units you need to keep as a millimeters and here okay 
this section, this left X and left Y we have to change minus 4 times 9 like 1, 2, 3, 4 again minus 1, 2, 3, 4 then apply it again go to the display just check this on now make here 0.1 mm all edge 0.1 mm non edge also 0.1 mm so here by 0.1 mm our mouse movement will be the smooth apply ok this time i will import the another outline like file import dxf so I'll do, I will import my another board file so this is the another board file actually uh, another example of the DXF format DXF board outline this board file is in DXF format so we will click on that here we will choose, choose that uh, mm only incremental as we are importing as a uh, board outline so no need to fill the save so we will keep as it is now after finishing these parameters just click on edit view layers go to select all mm. now uh, we have to choose our uh, class as a board board geometry because we are working for the board outline subclass will be the outline and we have to map it after mapping we have to click on ok it will override ok no issue so now import it so now see here it will import successfully ok our board has imported very successfully we have to make origin at the board corner so we will change our origin setting again Set change uh, origin drawing and we have to click here. After checking the origin, just click on zoom fit. This is this is our board outline. This is the cross section view. This uh, thickness of the board. This is the mirror image of the main board. And this is the bottom view. This is the top view. And what I means what it means means this is the mirror image of the.